Okay, welcome to the first lesson in this electronic series that I'm going to be making. And this first one is all about current. And by the end of this video, you should be able to answer these simple questions and understand a little bit about the physics behind how it works. So without getting too deep into physics, this is the definition stuff that we just need to know. Current is the flow of charged particles in a circuit, and we call this electricity. These charged particles are called electrons. And the most important thing to remember about electrons is that they're negatively charged. Imagine this is a copper wire connected to a positive and a negative terminal. You can see that the electrons are moving toward the positive terminal. This is because they're negatively charged, and just like magnets, opposites attract. Copper wire is used because it's a very good conductor of electricity. This is because it contains free electrons. The movement of these free electrons causes a transfer of energy throughout the circuit. And this is what we define as current flow. Let's take an example. So in a battery, during the discharge of electricity, chemical reactions are taking place inside. And this causes the anode to release electrons to the negative terminal. The negative terminal of a battery can only hold a limited number of electrons. And over time there's a build up and eventually there's just nowhere else for these electrons to go so they're pushed away from the negative terminal. This causes electrons to collide with one another, transferring energy around the circuit. So don't think of current as a flow of electrons, it's more of a flow of energy. So based on what we've just learned, we now know that electrons are negatively charged, and they therefore flow from positive to negative. You may also have heard of conventional current flow. Conventional current flow is an assumption that positive charge carriers cause current to flow. This assumption was made by Benjamin Franklin in the 1700s. This means that current flows in the opposite direction to electrons. We now know this to be untrue, but it's worth mentioning as a lot of teachers still reference this. This can be a little confusing, but don't be too bothered by it. Just remember that they're opposites. Current is measured in coulombs and coulombs measure the quantity of electrons flowing per second. 99% of the time, current is almost always referred to in amps. This is because we assume that one coulomb is equivalent to one amp. So what we're essentially saying is one amp represents a certain quantity of electrons flowing through a given wire per second. Typically, we measure current with an ammeter, but these days you tend to buy a multimeter, which can measure multiple different things like current, voltage, resistance, capacitance, they're very handy tools. So that's the basics of current, and now you should be able to answer some of these simple questions, and maybe explain a little bit about how the physics behind it works. You can dive a lot deeper into the physics of this stuff, but to make use of electronics, you don't have to go too deep. So I'm just going to be explaining everything you need to know in order to make use of electronics. So I hope this one was useful, and I'll see you on the next one where we'll be talking about voltage.